see on the some of the bunny forums that I go out and participate or work on is a question that comes up over and over again is how to bond with your bunny and having just adopted two new rabbits in the last four months I had done quite a bit of research and also just have my personal experience and thought that I might have some great uh, advice and be able to consolidate some of that information that I read and used while bonding with the rabbits that we have. So one of the first things that I'd like to talk about is first understanding your bunny's nature. So bunnies have lived those long as they have because they understand that they're prey creatures. So they aren't like your dog and cat. They are going to want to hide out in something that would have been similar to a place that they would hide in the wild. And so knowing that they're already a bit scared and they're not going to come out and seek your attention like dogs or cats helps you to get a little bit of insight into how to approach them or maybe give them a little more patience. The other thing that I really recognized with adopting two bunnies at the same time from different locations is that even, you know, obviously this is gonna sound silly, but every, just like dogs and cats are different, each dog is different from each dog, Every bunny is different. So we adopted two bunnies at almost the same time. My daughter's bunny, Kona, came from a family that had that had an accidental litter. And I purchased Thanos from a pet store, which I don't advocate, but didn't know at the time. And her bunny came to us just outgoing and cuddly, will groom you, just really wants people's attention. Thanos came to us and would love to live in our box spring under our bed. So I really recognized that right out of the gate that it took a lot less to socialize and bond with Kona than it did with Thanos. And so we had to really scratch our heads and, and get down and do some problem solving in order to make her want to seek our attention out. So some of the things that really worked for me was, uh, uh, as works for everybody, is food. Food is a great motivator, and it's important that your bunny knows that you are the one feeding them. And also, it giving them food at the same time every day so that they're expecting it, their pellets, their greens, all of that, and they see you providing that for them, even letting them you know, be able to see you put down their bowls, is just a great thing. Then you can take it that next step to where you're using either some of their food items or their tree items in order to have them seek you out. So something that I did with that was a little bit out of the box thinking is bunnies are only supposed to have an eighth of a cup of pellets every morning and every night. But I took Thanos's and instead of feeding them to her in a bowl, I put them in a pill bottle and would give them to her, dole them out to her during the day. Now, obviously you can't do this every day if you're working eight to five, but some weekends or during the evening when you're home giving them that evening um, feeding of pellets out of that pill bottle as they follow you around. Um, and then also treats. I mean, I read all the time about people that their bunnies know when they're going to work and right when they're gonna come home and they're expecting that grape or banana. Grapes and bananas, fruits are a great treat for bunnies. Just recognize they should probably only have about a teaspoon a day per two pounds of body weight. And so you have to use them sparingly. So finding something like a green like cilantro or something else that they might like that they're already getting, like I would mentioned the pellets, really helps to be able to allow you to treat them more throughout the day without giving them something that might upset their digestion. But to encourage Thanos to become more used to me, as she had done really great with litter training, I really hated to reduce her space as a free roam bunny just to decrease the amount of time it was going to take for her to get used to us. So I decided to try to start bringing her in the bathroom with me for five to ten minutes every evening. I would bring treats and my, my cell phone and I would sit on the floor, often watching Lennon the Bunny videos, 
and just wait for Thanos to decide to come out and explore me and get used to me and my smells and my sound. So after the bathroom bonding sessions, I was able to expand on that with just spending a lot of time on the floor out in the living room. Same thing, it's important that you're just doing your own thing, maybe have a couple treats in your pocket, but just hang out at their level so that they feel comfortable. Again, because they're that prey animal, picking them up on the couch or them being somewhere that isn't at a level where they're e able to get away very quickly makes them nervous. So floor time, floor time, floor time, and your bunny will in no time be all over you seeking you out. So I hope some of these tips helped you and decreased the time that it takes for you to be uh, enjoying some great snuggle time with your new friend. Thanks!